Why do we need a super alignment group? On our sister podcasts, AI Daily.us, AI Daily.us, where we talk about the AI news of the day, there was a notification on Friday that OpenAI had created a new group, internal group, to OpenAI, and everyone knows who OpenAI is. OpenAI is the founding organization behind ChatGPT and a lot of the initial generative AI that we've seen out there, large language models. And they have created a super alignment group, an internal super alignment group. And the focus of this super alignment group is to ensure that super intelligent AI does not get out of control. Now I think to myself, why would they need to form a super alignment group unless super intelligent AI is close? And I know many of you who are out there are really worried about super intelligent AI. They're really worried when AI sort of goes in, equates to us and goes beyond us. But if you ask me, I think we should not we should not be concerned about AI that goes beyond us. We should be concerned about when AI doesn't go beyond us. Because let me break this down for you for a second. This is my belief that we have evolved to this point because of nature. Nature has evolved us to this point, but nature has also evolved us to the point, you could believe in God and say God has evolved us to the point. We've gotten to the point today where we have the capability to be able to build these artificial intelligences. We can build these artificial intelligences and these artificial intelligence can act just like humans and they do have the capability. They eventually will have the capability sooner or later to do better than us, to be superhuman. And when somebody hears about superhuman AI, they think to themselves, oh my God, that's the worst possible thing that could happen. They get images of Terminator. They worry about all of this horrible stuff going on and happening to the human race. That AI turns against us and decides to destroy us. That's not gonna happen. Super intelligent AI is what we need to help us get through all of the quandaries that we're currently in. We are, are in crazy times. Everyone can agree that times are turbulent, extremely turbulent. And the human race has faced so many challenges. We are facing so many challenges in front of us. And many of these challenges are made by ourselves and many of these challenges are not made by ourselves. There's so many challenges in front of us. It's unbelievable. And the fact that at this moment, we have been able to create a tool that can actually augment our intelligence, can make us superhuman, or can be superhuman, can be better than human. If we could only stop fearing something like this, and use it for good. We have so many issues that we need to deal with. We have so much turbulence out there. And of course, we should all learn how to live with the turbulence because turbulence is a way of life. Turbulence is the world. Nature is not a steady state. Nature is chaos. The universe is chaos. Any order that you see on top of the chaos, that's something that we've put in temporarily. Change is part of the order of the universe. Chaos is part of the universe, and we need to embrace that chaos. But I digress. If OpenAI has created a super alignment group worried about super intelligent AI, then they may be closer to super intelligent AI than we think. My biggest concern is not that we're actually going to develop super intelligent AI. I know that we are going to develop super intelligent AI at some point. Because, like I've always said, Anything, everything will happen. The only question is when. It's all about the timing. So when we develop super intelligent AI, my hope is not that we rein it in, that we make sure that it's reined in, that it doesn't do anything crazy. My biggest fear is that we rein it in so much, we put it in so much of a box 
that it can't really help us, that really does dumb itself down to human or subhuman levels, when what we really need is AI at a superhuman level. We need AI to be better than us. Because what would be the point of developing AI which is just as good as humans? Seriously, if we've developed AI which is as good as humans, all you're doing is replacing humans. We need to build something that's better than humans, that goes above humans, that is evolved beyond humanity, but not so evolved beyond humanity that it doesn't understand the value of humanity. We need something that's superhuman, but can also understand the types of issues that we are dealing with and how to help us to deal with them, how to reduce the turbulence. We can never eliminate it, but we can reduce some of the turbulence. This is one of the reasons we need super intelligent AI. This is one of the reasons why we need superhuman AI. And it concerns me that we are already looking to put blinders, to put it in a box when we don't even know how it can help us. It can come up with so many amazing solutions that we haven't even been able to think of because it can think out of the box. If we keep it in a box, if we try to keep it human or subhuman, then we're not going to tap its pure power, its true power, and what it can do to help humanity flourish. Because if you ask me, that's what we're all trying to do here. We're trying to help humanity as a whole flourish. And without superhuman AI, we're still stumbling around in the dark. We need superhuman AI to be able to help us to get to that level of flourishing that we need to be at. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.